how do the red juicy tomatoes you see in supermarkets are actually grown on farms? Whether they come from small tomato farms where a few farmers grow the crop, or are they harvested in some of the world's largest farms, using cutting-edge modern technology? While you think about that, the most delicious tomato ketchup that complements every meal comes to mind. Is this tomato ketchup all organic, or does it have artificial ingredients? If gigantic factories were to make ketchup using tomatoes, only that are grown finely in nutritious conditions, how would that be? What does every harvest, processing, and packaging process look like? Welcome back to another exciting episode of our channel. The Mechanicals brings you engineering marvels and little-known farming techniques that are revolutionizing the world in one way or the other. If you are new to the channel, but enjoy learning about how technology and innovation are shaping the world's future, you will love to watch the videos we post on this channel. In this video, we will show you how millions of tomatoes are harvested and processed, and how tomato ketchup is made using modern technology. Let's get started. First, tomatoes have to be grown for them to reach ketchup factories. The process of growing tomatoes begins with a careful selection of top-notch seeds, especially favoring hybrid varieties in modern large-scale farms. These hybrids come with desirable traits like disease resistance, uniformity, and optimal fruit characteristics. In some cases, genetic engineering might be involved in tailoring seeds with specific attributes that help during growth. Moving on to the germination and seedling production phase, the chosen seeds go through germination in controlled environments or nurseries. Automated systems meticulously create ideal conditions for germination, closely monitoring temperature, humidity, and light. That's when the seeds sprout into seedlings under carefully controlled conditions. Large-scale farms bring in automated transplanting machines when it's time to transplant. These machines efficiently and precisely plant seedlings in the main cultivation area, strategically placing rows at predetermined intervals to make the most of space and resources. Greenhouses or controlled environments play a crucial role on many large-scale tomato farms, offering protection from adverse weather conditions and enabling year-round cultivation. Advanced climate control systems, with features like automated ventilation, heating, and shading, maintain the ideal growing conditions. In terms of irrigation, automated systems such as drip irrigation come into action, delivering water directly to the plant's root zones. This approach minimizes water wastage, prevents soil-borne diseases, and ensures each plant gets the right amount of moisture. To know the conditions beneath the soil, soil moisture sensors are put to keep an eye on hydration levels. Not only that, but the nutrient level of the soil is also taken care of. Automated systems or drones evaluate soil nutrient content, allowing for the targeted application of fertilizers to promote healthy plant growth. Throughout the growth cycle, monitoring and data analytics play a central role. Sensors and monitoring systems collect data on parameters like temperature, humidity, and plant health. Advanced analytics then scrutinize this data, guiding informed decisions on irrigation, pest control, and overall crop management. All this helps in making the right decisions about when to water, where to water, where to give fertilizer, and whether any of the farm sections is under disease attack. If there are signs of diseases in the early phase, releasing beneficial insects or precisely applying biopesticides are put into action. Mechanized pruning and training systems come into play, assisting in shaping and training tomato plants. These systems ensure uniform growth, optimizing exposure to light and enhancing processes like photosynthesis and fruit development. Then begins the harvesting process. Automated ripeness detection starts when computer vision and sensors work together to identify the ripeness of tomatoes. Interestingly, these systems can distinguish between ripe and unripe fruits based on color, size, and other visual cues. Once these systems get the data of which tomatoes are ripened and which are not, this data is then shared with automatic harvesting machines. Now, these harvesting machines know which part of the massive farms they should go to and which tomatoes they should handpick. 
On large-scale farms, robotic harvesting machines with robotic arms and grippers are employed for gently picking ripe tomatoes. Advanced algorithms guide these machines through the crop, ensuring they selectively harvest only the mature fruits. After harvesting, tomatoes are transported using conveyor systems. Automated conveyors efficiently move the harvested tomatoes from the field to subsequent processing and sorting stages, reducing manual handling and minimizing the risk of damage. In some large-scale farms, autonomous vehicles are brought to transport harvested tomatoes within the premises. These vehicles are equipped with navigation systems and sensors to ensure safe and efficient transportation. Once tomatoes are harvested, the processing phase begins. Before we continue further, tell us, are you loving the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos where we unveil breathtaking engineering and farming techniques. Let's continue now. The journey begins with sorting and inspection, a pivotal phase where cutting-edge technology, including computer vision systems and sensors, takes the lead. These advanced systems meticulously identify and separate tomatoes based on size, color, and quality, ensuring that only top-tier produce advances to subsequent processing stages. Following the sorting process, the spotlight turns to automated washing and cleaning systems. These systems, incorporating elements like high-pressure water jets, brushes, and air blowers, work to cleanse the sorted tomatoes efficiently. The integration of technology not only ensures a thorough cleaning process, but also minimizes water usage, reflecting a commitment to sustainable practices. Once the tomatoes are cleaned, the next step involves grading and sizing, executed by machines equipped with advanced algorithms. This crucial phase categorizes tomatoes based on their size and quality, laying the foundation for uniformity in the final processed products. Once grading has been done, tomatoes are either packed in boxes to be sold in whole form, or they continue the next processing phases. Some cutting-edge processing facilities use steam or hot water treatment to ease the peeling process. What's more, brief exposure to high temperatures loosens the tomato skins, making subsequent peeling more efficient. Automated systems meticulously regulate the temperature and duration of this treatment, showcasing precision in the use of technology. That's when automated peeling and coring machines come into play, instrumental in removing tomato skins and cores with precision. Leveraging technology, these machines ensure minimal wastage of the precious tomato flesh. The peeled and cored tomatoes seamlessly progress to the subsequent processing stage. The journey continues with the tomatoes undergoing crushing and pulping to create a homogeneous mixture. Advanced pulping machines equipped with technology to regulate consistency and texture play a critical role in crafting various tomato-based products, including sauces and pastes. The tomato pulp then undergoes heat treatment to deactivate enzymes and eliminate microorganisms. Automated systems carefully control the temperature and duration of heating, guaranteeing food safety and extending the shelf life of processed products. To achieve the desired thickness and concentration, the tomato pulp undergoes evaporation. Modern technology introduces vacuum, evaporators, and concentration systems that efficiently remove excess water, resulting in concentrated tomato paste. Aseptic processing follows, involving the sterilization of the tomato product and packaging materials separately. This meticulous process ensures a contamination-free environment. Automated packaging machines then take the stage, filling and sealing aseptic containers with precision. The final processed products undergo rapid cooling using advanced cooling systems. Automated conveyors efficiently transport the packaged products to controlled storage areas, where temperature and humidity are optimized to maintain the high quality of the products. Even if tomato paste has been made, the ketchup making process is different. In specific processing methods, tomato skins and cores are removed using techniques like steam or hot water treatment, followed by the use of mechanized peeling and coring machines. Once the tomatoes are prepared, they undergo a crushing and pulping process to form a consistent mixture. 
Technology is used to precisely control the texture and consistency of the pulp, ensuring a smooth base for the ketchup. To ensure food safety and prolong the shelf life of the ketchup, the tomato pulp undergoes a critical heat treatment process that deactivates enzymes and eliminates microorganisms. After this step, the heated tomato pulp may undergo straining to remove any remaining solids, seeds, or skin particles, resulting in a base that is both smooth and uniform for the ketchup. In order to achieve the desired thickness and concentration, the tomato mixture undergoes evaporation. Vacuum evaporators are employed to efficiently remove water, contributing to the ketchup's rich consistency. Measured precisely, ingredients like vinegar, sweeteners, salt, and spices are then added to the concentrated tomato mixture. The ketchup mixture is then cooked to perfection, allowing the ingredients to blend seamlessly and the flavor profile to develop. Blending equipment ensures a homogeneous end product. Following this, the cooked ketchup is rapidly cooled to preserve its quality and prepare it for subsequent processing and packaging. Throughout the entire process, stringent quality control measures are in place. Automated systems equipped with sensors and cameras inspect the ketchup for factors such as color, consistency, taste, and adherence to quality standards. The final ketchup product is meticulously packaged into bottles, jars, or other containers. Automated packaging systems ensure efficiency and precision in filling, sealing, and labeling. Packaged ketchup is stored under controlled conditions to maintain its freshness. Modern logistics and distribution systems are then employed to guarantee that the product reaches retailers and consumers in optimal condition. That's when customers can lay their hands on freshly made tomato products and whole tomatoes. Have you ever visited a factory where ketchup is made from tomatoes freshly delivered from farms? Tell us, isn't it true that tomatoes would not be so easy to get if they were not grown on a massive scale in one of the world's biggest farms? In the comment section right below, let us know which step of tomato harvesting and processing you love the most. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get more videos on technological feats and farming advancements that are changing the world. Until the next video, stay tuned.